that no, wasn't wasn't quite as long as that. And then I was like, then I like, oh, woke up. oh, got do- got dojo in like ten minutes. I forgot this was a thing. I won't lie. Well, I'm glad you're joining us today, right? Exciting stuff. We'll wait yeah. uh, like a few minutes and see if many people get in in the chat, and then we can start something up. I'll I'll invite like. Um, Oh, I guess Carl. Well, Carl and Rohit, and we can. Demonstrate. Yeah, we can. We can just do three people, and then, if, you know, you want to talk about two v two tags. Like Discord stream. Or... Yeah. yeah. Um. Normally, it will be well, whoever. Will, whoever it'll be me or Kyle, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I can stream to it as well. My PC is not the greatest. Yeah, we can just use three or do us three and then when we need a fourth, we can get a fourth. Uh-huh. Untangle my cable. Let's put this over. I think. Well, there's red astray so you know, looking for everything. I can't load it up today. I don't know why they made the outfit wrong for the menu this time. Yeah. What? What's the. What do you mean the outfit wrong? Or what? It's just. What like... wrong has any outfit? You don't? New it's colors. just... New color. It's just the armor color. The material. And it's an great. ornament. Yeah. Well, yeah. has she got the new... Is that a new one? Or... There is a new one, but she's just using red. And I don't know about the ornament. And it's not the event one. It's, it's a default one, I think. Um, some some outfit. Um, anyway, I guess we... Well, when Carl comes back, um, we'll see... We'll start things up. I'll, I'll, I'll invite the lobby. I uh, completely forgot to launch my game. So uh-huh. That's all right. I opened it up and stared at it. You oh, launch your, now. Your name. It's nameplate dash gg. I think I know. I think I know why my, why my upload might be having issues because I'm, I'm 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 currently uploading both. I'm uploading two videos to the channel right now. Oh, uh, yeah, you might want to pause that, if you can, in between, uh... I don't think I can pause the upload on YouTube. Oh, you can. You can? I don't know. Yeah, just I cancel them. It pauses? Just yeah. kill the browser. And It should you... pause them, you can resume. I know, I failed some uploads. And then when I restarted it, they just started at, like, 50, 60% again. That's good to know. I will go do that right now, give me a second. But yeah, you can't stream while uploading to YouTube. That's yeah. That's not happening. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst thing that happens is you just have to, you know, just re-upload the whole thing again. You know, that's another five hours of uploading. <laughs> All right, I've sent out an invite to you, Rohit and Kyle. Yeah. Um, oh, what happens? Beans first. Yeah. I guess it's cool. They have them back on the menu. It's kind of... Um, oh, it on. uh yeah yeah the same we we oh it was on the, in the chat all right i returned what is the plan for going over such things so we are going to i've sent you an invite we'll demonstrate a little bit about how um actually yeah, let's 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 go with four people because um we can start off about tags it's probably easier to have Okay, well, we need a fourth. Yeah. Where'd Danko go? Danko? You said you want to go get food real quick. I could jump uh, in. There you go. Uh, huh? I could jump in if I can help. Yeah, uh, I can. Yeah. Freeze. Um, My net should be coming. No, I'm, I'm rendering. I can't, I can't launch the game. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll watch that in that case. Your PC can handle that as well. It should. It should. Here's Hello, I'll be there a second. Yeah. I'm moving uh, to battle. I'll be the Ooh. dummy. It handled it when I was um, when I was playing the tournament. It's gonna handle it now. Uh, just <laughs> I, I'm gonna have the game on lower settings though. So That's if anyone fine. if anyone has a problem with that, you have to deal with it. <laughs> oh, you tell. Yeah, I can't do anything. Uh, otherwise, my otherwise my. I, my PC would literally crash because I would just overload 
I would just use all my system memory and virtual memory. Literally. Well, okay. I, I, we can, I mean, if your PC can't handle with nobody else, somebody else, uh, oh. maybe Daniel or Tatsuke. As I said, it should. It did it when I when I did the I tournament. I can I have too much packet loss for some reason right now. So, okay. Well, no worries about it. Um, if you need another invite, Kyle, taking it now. I just got in the game. All right. My uh, game needs, my game still needs some time starting up. <laughs> so, yeah, you'll have to hang on. But I'll I'll. There's the new material. Yeah. Yeah. You see it on you see it on LB. It's not half bad. Yeah. Pitchfork as material now. <laughs> I was about to say. Mm, can be very gold. We now have piss on. Um, put it on Lawbringer or Warmonger. It's kind of a crazy look. Yeah, if you're not if, you, if you're not happy with the regular gold, go with that one. Yeah. Now you can make a ketchup bottle and a mustard bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look like um, a sort of high vis person, so a road worker or something like that. We said Ronald McDonald, so you can make a good Ronald McDonald out of this. I think that's oh, right. Yeah. Still missed Some the red. Piss fork, the piss, the piss fork was good. I missed the piss fork. <laughs> and the broken conch flail. Oh, that one still exists, though. The, 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 the space mace. It's just local it now. It shouldn't. Body flail. Yeah, the space mace should be gone. It's nope, been it, gone. It, it, it doesn't. It... We start a, um, a tourney match once. Well, yeah, just... because I ran the space yeah, maze. Because you ran it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a 2v2 tourney, and I ran the space maze. <laughs> and I was just telling them that their game was bugged. <laughs> well, that's a real. It only shows up on, on, on your game now. It doesn't show up on, on the server side. That's what I think, at least. I'm not sure. Oh. It might be gone. Uh... Okay. okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Um... Do I have the right? I have the right one. Hey, your favorite revenge spamming, revenge feeding hero. I'm gonna go 140. What do we oh, do? Oh yes, that's a good idea. Um, I'll go character. I'll go low, low. One twenty. Uh, new Nobu's what? One. One twenty. Twenty. One twenty. Yeah. yeah. One twenty. I'll go. I'll go Shinobi because he's one ten. Um, and we'll pick. I guess you guys pick other heroes. We'll just demonstrate the same things. Um. What do we? What do we do? What? What should I pick? Anybody? Pick want a one thirty. Yeah, one thirty. Yeah. Uh, oh, black. Uh, Prior's one thirty. Right? Yeah, pick black. Okay. Kyle, right. can you Discord stream? Yeah, yeah. I think Kyle should just Discord stream. Get a chance to to show off my my beautiful fashion. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that one. <laughs> No, I'm mm. the one with fashion in this lobby. The only one, actually. Debatable. Okay, my f my game just fucking crashed. So no, Goodbye. that's not happening. <laughs> Rip. Okay, well, um, we got, have we got well, we can, well, I'll have to read this lobby with a bot. Yeah, screen. we can just do us three for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can talk about four tag, four person tags in a moment. Um, we can talk about the... Got, you can I've talk got... about the numbers for it, uh, too. Yeah, we just yeah. Uh, ask for volunteers. From oh, the bot disappeared. Hang on, what? Oh, do you? Oh, what yeah. Is... Oh. Well, stream not going in, into maximization. I was doing that too, um, too early, I guess. I, think. I mean, you can just make a bra map. Just got something yeah. Yeah. weird. And no bots. Yeah. All right, bra instead, then. Um, my 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 Discord stream is being really weird right now. It's not really maximizing properly. Yeah, it's just being in a in a in a in a. It's being letterboxed. Is it on your end or mine? I can restart. I'm watching my, it now though. It looks fun. No, my yeah. the stream's just in a, in a in a letterbox. There's there's a there's large rectangles around it. Uh, you had somebody uh, tag you in the yeah, know, uh, thing. We can, we'll, we'll do some, we'll go with the, the stop, do the threes, and um, send me your, like, your, you play, and then we can, um, I don't know, Kyle, if you want to, if you want to show you. The, the I'll be the ganker, or ganky. Yeah. Although, so, Kyle, let's swap. Okay. Yeah. I think this will work. 
then you know what I can try? Years. I can try. I can try running. I can try spectating your spam. Don't worry about it. That spectate mode doesn't work with the freaking. Um... <clears throat> spectator mode is still gonna be delayed. So whatever yeah, we talk it's about. It's gonna be all super weird. Yeah. Okay. All Let's... right. So we oh. will go over the very basics first. I don't know the multipliers for extra tags. I'm assuming you're gonna know those, Spaniel. The Spaniel. I will get them up. Um, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Because I don't know numbers. I just kind of know how it works. Me too. That is good stuff, anyways. Someone knows how to fix my, my Discord issue. Never mind. It fixed itself somehow. Easy. Whatever. Easy. Oh, my that's God. How, that's how I fixed it. That's, that's how life is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. When there's a will, there's a way. I so, manifested it, and it happened. I hate this application. What's the background? Okay, so the very, very basics for anyone who doesn't know, we'll start there. If two people hit the same guy within five seconds, he begins gaining revenge. Bam. Now, now his little meter above his head goes up as long as that thing is flashing up there. See above his head where his emblem is? Every time within five seconds... He gets Venge, eventually giving him orange, and now I get to yell at the shinobi that he didn't know what he was doing. So, the amount of revenge is based on health, so each uh, attack that you do feeds revenge. So, if this attack here does 24 damage, it feeds 24 revenge. It may be right up to 25, I don't, I don't know if those numbers follow exactly, but... The threshold for getting revenge is your health. So, Shinobi has 110 health. His threshold for getting revenge is 110 revenge points, we'll call them. I just made that up, but we'll call it that. Lawbringer has 140 health. His is that, thus meaning it, it takes more to give Lawbringer revenge than it does Shinobi. <clears throat> it is based on the attack uh, of like when it hits, meaning like a bleed attack, like this cool thing. Does a whole bunch of damage, but it does very little revenge because when it hits, I believe it only does one to two one. damage. Yeah, one to two damage. So that means that give him a tag. Yeah. Thank so you. now this is only giving venge for the one to two that he got on there, and get tag him up again. Does five? Does five? There you go. Yeah, five to treat is five. The dodge so, one. So it gives you the it gives you the revenge based upon what it, it was when he hit him, not the not the actual damage because we know the bleed adds on there. So that way he can get attacked a million times with bleed and it causes less revenge. That's why Nobushi's peel can be good in team fights because adding the other tag doesn't feed very much revenge, even if they're already tagged up because the revenge comes from the initial thing. That's why Glad Skewer was so crazy because it only counted. Uh, the initial hit of the skewer, not the actual damage that it did over time, which was much bigger. Um, GBs and bashes both give 30. So those go the fastest. All that's the same. Bashes or GBs. And everything else is based off the damage. So, ah, so that's the Are basis. That's the, yeah, it's easy. That's the basis of how people uh, get revenge uh, in a team fight and how the numbers add up. Now, it also changes, too, when more people are involved and how many tags that the uh, person currently has. Uh, yeah, Roho, if you pop and then just wait for it to come, come down again. So, something we should also cover is that it's not just about whether you get hit or block. Oh, hello. Go ahead. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not just about whether you get hit or block the attack. Parrying also helps. So, if we do, if let's say you tag him and then I'll throw top heavies. And then Ro is just going to block these top heavies. Well, oh, my bad. Oh, that's right. Well, you parried them the first time. Two. Yeah. Three. Oh, my tag ran oh, out. Your tag ran out, so tag him again. Uh, oh, well. Well, this one... even more because of it. Yeah, yeah. so that, that was about to be the... It was roughly going to be four. You know, so again, we'll wait for the combat, and this time he's just going to block them. Um, and that also... Uh, it also matters too. Uh, so, oh, wait, we can do this first. Go ahead. Here, here's a tag. Come up. I'll, I'll just light it next time. Block. Two. Three. I got a tag. Four. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's tags on up. But as you can see, the. Uh, three. Four. Three. Four. Five. Like, parrying gives you quite a big 
increase to your revenge value, which I I have it written down somewhere. Um, oh, I had it written down somewhere, but I can't <laughs> can't find it anyway. Um, but it does give you a bonus to the amount of revenge you build. So parrying, whilst it's risky, obviously, um, because even if you're using option selects, you have to, you know, be putting yourself in a bit of risk by parrying. It is still worthwhile doing in team in when you're a ganks because the amount of revenge you get parrying is better than just from eating attacks. Parrying is one that also too. gives the most, right? Or is it getting hit by the attack itself? So getting hit and being and blocking attack uh, give the same. Actually, we can do that again. I guess if you want to tag him with a light. Um, yeah, absolutely. Light. Then I'll just hit him on top. One. Block two. it. Oh. Oh, Three. I don't know if you want to. Meet him. No, I just want you to eat him. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be the same, whether it does the, the damage or not. Yeah. So you can see you, you're feeding um, your, like, the, the damage you get from... Sorry, the revenge you get from being hit by the damage is the same. Something you should also note is that you, even if you re receive revenge for everything, so it, uh, these ones I don't need to... Don't, need to bl don't block anything. Um, okay. Um, oh, well, that right, was external. Because I threw an both and uh, you know, um, Carl, you can attack as well if you want to. Oh, I probably okay. shouldn't only bleed. Oh well, um, but yeah, uh, 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 let's let's let just kill him and restart. Uh, this time we're just gonna, we're just gonna like fucking spam attacks into you. Don't block anything, Rohit. Just just oh, you you want to? Okay, I got you, I got you. I got you. Just to demonstrate uh, the sure. amount of revenge you will get from being attacked, like you have to do some successful defense because. If you just eat every attack, so yes, just light spam him, uh, or just, or without bleed, ideally, but, um, yeah. As you can see, he did not get revenge, because he ate, he ate every attack and died before he got revenge, because you will not, you have, to, the amount of revenge you get from attacks is not going to be enough to, so Kyle mentioned that it's, uh, like, based on your maximum health, well, it's based on your maximum health, but it has a multiplier. So the amount uh, I'm really talking from. So yeah, you do have to defend against something because you can't just eat as much damage as you want and get revenge. Even from full health, you will you will you will die before you get revenge. In order to get that number up there, you're going to have to play some defense. Also, it should be noted too. Put a tag on him, Spanning. I got a lot of tags from them. So uh, uh, just don't block that. Tag him again. Please. See, so that feeds our twenty-five inch. Now I want you to uh, count to uh, GBM. Cat and you count GB row it. Even if that's not on the same timing, it still gives the amount of inch. I did that within the hundred MS window because I'm You're absolutely cracked. Nuts. You're just yeah, nuts, but though. but even if I had been uh, do it again. Even if I had been not absolutely cracked, which I did ah, again. Just, so don't worry just, about you're it. Good. I, <laughs> one. I did it. I did it in a row. You can't get it so wrong. It's whatever, man. Hundred MS is easy. One more time. Let's see if I can get it wrong. After you run that. I when no, he's, he's going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah see that. Here we go. Oh okay. my god. Four times. I'm insane. Yeah. There, there we go. Got it wrong. It did six. That fed 24 Venge. That's all I was trying to prove was that even yeah. if you miss that window, it still gives it. But I also just found out that I'm the best 100 MS person ever in the history of Nobles. So <laughs> we all learned it, something today. It, 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 and guys, don't just the base. Unless yes. you parry. With parry, it gives the. the, yeah, it gives the yeah, it gives the base. One. That's... You also, as. as um. Uh, Freeze mentioned uh, argument tag, and then you dodge uh, one of Nabushi's kicks right here. So, yeah, on reaction, his revenge went up. Then, um, you can do it again whilst he's still got tag. Again, no, he doesn't have one. Oh, all right, okay. So, if you dodge correctly in iframes, you will get a little bit of revenge for dodging it, although it's not nearly as much. I think it's only 10 revenge. For, for dodging, as you see, if he, if he gets hit by the bash, oh. he gets a lot more revenge. Whereas if he dodges it, you you get, get, get as much. And it's also it's what we, we would call it inconsistent. Because so if you like dodge super early, uh, oh, yeah. so that you don't get um, you won't get the revenge. Yeah. So that you dodge it without being in the iframes. Um, I don't think the Bush's kick has that amazing tracking, so you should be good to 
in general, if you want revenge and dodging is the option of your defense, then you probably not succeed in because it feeds the least amount of revenge and it's inconsistent on top. Yeah. And I don't think it's based on the attack that you dodge as well, if I remember correctly. So if you dodge uh, just a top heavy after this, right here. Wait, what, what about that one? Oh, oh, just throw a top oh heavy. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Attack. Yeah, yeah, it's so about it, the same. It, yeah, area. but it didn't give as much as just as a locking. It. locking. If yeah. you throw a top heavy into his block now, oh, actually, I need to tag him again. So yeah. that gives you a lot more. They gave more. Dodging is the worst option, as it were, in terms of revenge feeding. Um, so I think we should mention now tags. We, we well, we've we've mentioned them a few times, but let's go do a bit more an in-depth discussion about what tags are. So people will often complain well, about. On. B before it's one more thing of what Cal brought up, how uh, when your attack is damage reduced, it still feeds the same vent. That's why uh, you don't want to be wall throwing with a teammate around. It's, yes, you, th you throw good. him into a wall. The teammate heavy is going to do a quarter damage, which means they can't really add it at all. It's not worth that quarter damage to feed the yeah. full vent. So with right, a teammate I'll... around, that's why you, just, you, you don't wall throw. It's double heavy. Yeah, let me grab you and throw you to a wall. Wow, I, nice wall. I think I'll still die. Oh no, no, nope, you it, won't. And it, and it gave the it only did six damage, and it gave him the avenge that I would have gave from eating a top heavy. Yeah, um, whereas, uh, whereas, whereas on the guard of, break, instead of uh, the Nabushi heavy doing twenty five percent damage, it would do seventy five percent damage. So then that's worth adding in. Yes, um, and yes, yeah, so revenge the amount it's, it's always based on the base damage that you have on your attack so uh, we don't have an attack buffs active here or defense buffs but if you're hold if you're using a defensive buff like juggernaut you'll still receive the same amount of revenge as you would if you were hit you know regularly full damage like, attack exactly even though yeah. you take half the damage and conversely if your opponent if you'd like damage uh, your defense is debuffed for well let's say the person's got fear itself you're only going to get the same amount of damage as the base damage of the attack, even though they're hitting you for twice the amount, or almost twice the amount of damage Correct. that the attack would do anyway. And that, that actually, as it applies to Nabushi's wear of the shark as well. So if they're bleeding, you know, her extra damage doesn't give um I guess we can do show a quick doesn't right give the extra vinge. Yeah, so the so you and then just throw a top heavy. <coughs> you'll see how it gives that the same did. amount of vinge that it would have gave and it did an extra lot of damage. What well, did twenty nine? Yeah, extra twenty twenty damage. So it did an extra five damage on account with uh, and now if we'll do it again with a oh I was gonna... oh you wanted me to do it with the other one yeah yeah but I mean like we yeah the bleed will take take out the... um uh, but yeah you, so you see that you see the the tag him. tag twenty four yeah. supposed to eat it yeah perfect yeah. That was, that was good um <laughs> but yeah you can see that the damp the revenge you got was the same I mean within <clears throat> visually the same at least even though it was doing like a normal amount of damage versus a, a buffed amount of damage, so this is why Nabushi and Glad was was so was so good together as gankers, and why they still are one of the better gank pairs because Nabushi gets such a big damage bonus off Gladiator's bleed from Skewer, so you um so you just get more bang for your buck in terms of revenge revenge feed. But let's talk about tags. Um, we've We've mentioned them a few times. How does a game know when you are in a 2v2, you're an outnumbered scenario? Well, it depends. Every time you hit an opponent, um, that you apply a tag to them. So, so for five seconds, the game remembers that they have been hit by me. And you will see, so Kyle on his screen now, the, uh, yeah. the as you can see, you, the bar is flashing. Yes. Yeah, that means around the that, emblem. Yeah, that means that they have um, enough tags that if they get an extra one from you, they will get revenge. So now you can poke them, and they're getting signed to get revenge. Now on my screen, now the thing is also flashing. So we'll, we'll wait for a second, and we'll do this. We'll do the same thing. Now you, yeah, Kyle's attacking. As you can see, there's now it's not flashing. He, it, the game thinks you're in a one v one. You can keep on attacking, and it'll be the same. And then as soon as I add a tag, now it's flashing. Start flashing because he's got more tags than you than you have and this is the way i mean the tag system is rather 
complex and counterintuitive, but the way that is really easy to sell is if the opponent is not, if their 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 thing is not flashing, you won't give them revenge. Um, you only give them revenge if their uh, icon is flashing. So I think that's the main takeaway. It used before we had this, it was super difficult because you had to count basically tags last five seconds. As you can see, if I tag him and you just wait. It'll it'll stop flashing in a short amount of time, um, five seconds. Five seconds, and and you'd have to you'd have to it, previously before we had this indicator, you'd have to think to yourself when the opponent has been last hit by you, when it's last been last been hit by somebody else, because the tags time out individually. So um, it might be a little bit hard to. No, they don't. Or do they if not? It's like... three or more. No, because that's. The big thing that we discovered when I did the video because tags hold information. So if three people tagged someone, one stops attacking. Oh, what was it? It was because all of a sudden I didn't feed revenge, but I should. Well, that was because but you had an attack from. Somebody. I had tags too, but yeah, tags hold information. How many people were tagged, and uh, a three-man tag can be refreshed by just two person, just just two people. Okay. It, it's really weird, but it's it's basically negligible in the end. You're never going to keep track of that anyways. Yeah. But it is this little complicated thing, yeah. But, as, but yeah. I meant that if um, yeah, if Rohit eats... Okay, well, if we attack Rohit and then it's going to be... Um, let's say... We'll... You mean your tag has its separate timer from Gaza's yeah. tag? Exactly. Yeah. So if I if we both attack, so let's say I, I'll... I'll throw a heavy first and then uh, you throw a heavy Kyle uh -huh. then I'll start counting you'll see that your flashing stops oh. sooner than mine does I think I'll we'll do that again I, I'll, I'll say when my flashing stops and you say when your flashing stops All right. Got it. Right. now now so at the same time Oh, it was yours. Exactly. Mine was later okay. because it was based on um, on Kyle's tag rather than my tag that I gave him. So yeah. uh, this is how it, this is why you will be. You can often find yourself in ganking situ in gank situations where you feel like, well, I'm in an active two v you know two v one. Why am I not getting revenge? It's because it's not just been five seconds since you've been attacked. Full stop. It's been a five seconds since one of the opponents has attacked you. You have to. You have to basically keep getting those tags from other people. So if if you know I've been attacking and then Rohit's got revenge, and then you know we're we're, we're throwing attacks at him, and then and then I back off for a bit, and Kyle keeps attacking him. He's still not going to be getting revenge from from even though I, um, you know, was in that two v one because it's because the game has now has now thought it's a. Uh, one v one. So even though like uh, he's flashing on my screen, so I'd be I'd give him revenge if I threw it anymore. But it's not going to remember in between. Yeah, I think that's the the point. It's that it's based on the the players that who are interacting with you, not the total number of players, as it were. Um. So, I guess we could talk about modifiers quickly. Well, let's talk about let's Wait. talk about this because the numbers are one thing but you got to be able to have some sort of utility to it so what all that fancy tags and numbers and everything means boils down to a couple things a if the man is flashing trying to be adding too much right unless you're going to kill or unless you're in the middle of some sort of organized gank that you're halfway working through meaning if i'm beating this guy up here and he's flashing over there that shinobi doesn't need to be adding in useless things he doesn't need to gb him right now for no conceivable reason and just randomly give him more tags, right? So you want to keep that binge as low as you can. And then also, it all allows you to know what ganks you can do. So some ganks feed less binge than other things. Sometimes GB, in this scenario, um, here, Rawit, just uh, just lose a bunch of health. Um, I think one more. Okay, so I'm going to light attack, and then I'm going to chain heavy. And Mr. Spaniard here is going to GB for my chain heavy when I throw it. I have no worries about MG being for it, even if he messes it up and messes the timing up, because Rawit doesn't have enough revenge to matter. So even the revenge that's going to be fed from it isn't going to add enough to give it to him. So if I light attack into heavy, 
And then he gets it wrong. Oh, no, yep. Spaniard's bad. He doesn't remember his timing, but it doesn't mm-hmm. matter because he still only has three Venge. Now, I'm going to wait till he stops flashing. Everything's going to be fine. Now, here we need to kill him, but I don't need to give him Venge. Same thing we talked about earlier. Bleed doesn't work the same. It works off initial damage. So Spaniard is going to GB him. Raul's going to counter GB. All right, now this guy's dead. I gave him literally zero Venge. It doesn't matter. He lost all his health, and now he's out of here. So that's what it really comes down to, knowing your tags and your values, because you want to try to not fill that bar up. And another thing is to know that when you can add in and when you cannot add in. Before they had the bar, we had to count to five, surprise mechanic, figure out when they were going to have Venge, when they weren't going to have Venge, how much it was. Now we know. If me and Spaniard feed this guy Venge, give him some GBs, Oh, man, look at us. We're so terrible. We're like those MM guys. All right, well, all right, now stop. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> pop, do it again. So, same thing again here. Uh, now I'm yelling at Spaniard because he can't watch tags. He's going to get me killed. All right, I'm going to give this guy high binge again. Just, yeah, just kick him, do what you got to do. You want to try and do the single kick. I don't have a... Stop right there. All right, so now this guy's high binge. We don't have anything we can do. He's got all the health in the video game. So now the same thing Spaniard talked earlier about not adding in and not doing anything. We'll do the famous onesie with friends. Uh, neither one of us are great onesie charge based on what we're playing, but just imagine that we are, okay? So in this case, Spaniard here will faint. He will dodge. He will do all kinds of things to try to give Rawit extra indicators so that I can find a way to hit him because as long as Spaniard doesn't actually touch him, he doesn't give him any revenge. Oops, now, he I did touch him, and so now we have to wait five to start all over. We started our onesie of friends again because my man's no longer flashing. And now I can go back to what I'm doing. He's giving indicators. I'm trying to kick. I'm trying to land damage where I can. He's just doing the best he can to try to uh, stop it. Rawit has no revenge. Now, when he's low like this, he can chip in. Now, he doesn't want to chip in with a GB, right? Because he could end up giving revenge. But we could, he could light for uh, an attack or something else that he wanted to Well, you to could do. GB and I could get the... Or I could GB and he could get that off that because it's already my tag. So all, all that information about how tags and how the numbers work and the modifiers and if you're standing on Citadel Gate on the left side, it gives more vengeance on the right side or whatever <laughs> dumb rules this video game has, all boils down to don't fill up big orange bar above big man's head. And knowing what you can get from it, knowing that revenges, knowing that bashes and uh, GBs give 30 venge. So now you got to know how much you see about how much that is on the bar, right? It's like a little less than a quarter. Um, If it was a clock, you know, it would go maybe almost to the three kind of in that area. So you can have an idea that that's about what 30 venge is on a... Uh, 140 HP character, so you know, all right, well, I don't need to be GBing for something unless it's going to kill, right? You might GB for a finisher because we all know there's the 100 MS uh, revenge activation, which means that if he GBs right before 100 MS before the attack lands and that gives revenge, he won't have time to pop before the attack lands and he'll die. But if he doesn't do that, then he could easily get vent. So you're going to know when to GB, when not to GB, when you should add in, when you shouldn't add in, and what attacks you should use to add in. The easiest ones are like we talked about Nobushi Bleeds. I don't ever have to worry about spamming these attacks, even if there's a tag. Tag him up, Spaniard. I don't care about spamming these because this man actively has two tags, and I'm giving him basically zero revenge uh, by doing these bleed attacks. So that is a very useful tool when someone's low HP and high revenge. So I can just wait and just add in on that way. You don't want to add in and give revenge and stuff like that. So your biggest thing you want to worry about is watching your bar at the top, when it's flash and when it's not, and then whose tag it should be and what move you should use in order not to fill up the bar. Too often, people will pull off a pretty good gank and get them close to revenge, but then instead of just waiting five seconds and letting somebody 1v1 for two seconds, everybody wants to keep spamming, giving Venge. I believe Revenge is nine seconds, eight seconds, yep. right? Something yep. like that. Nine so seconds. it's nine seconds. So you've got nine seconds of extra stall there. That's the same length as Jug. Jug is 10, right? So you've got, or Smoke Bomb. So you've got this basically free stall on the point where people can come. The uh, common call that you would hear when playing is, okay, hey, I'm going to come to see and help you or whatever, right? It's like, oh, I'm getting ganked. Oh, you got a revenge. I'm coming, right? People will bail on points, not going to save you if they think you're going to die over there and they're just feeding in. But suddenly you get revenge? Okay, it's time. I can come show up. Like, now you're going to be able to get, be alive for a while. Maybe you're going to do some damage. This Lawbringer uses his revenge pop, right? He can pull off huge punishes. Maybe even kill me if I wasn't full HP or put me solo HP that now it's scary to gank him. 
So it's very important not to feed revenge. Most of you have played MM. You've seen how bad it goes when you just randomly spam people. So now you've got to learn what the what the cues are in order to keep this guy from getting revenge. If I'm in MM and spam you're just a random dude and I see him doing what he's doing now, just acting like an idiot on his external, I'm not adding in anything. It's not going to do I'm me any good. Attacks. Yeah, I'm like... Light attack. Ah. If, if he's just going to town, all I can do is... Is try to do something to to keep the indicators going, but I'm in no way going to try to add in unless I feel like if I see him like maybe chain heavy, maybe I'll GB for it and just hope that he believes in it, but probably not. <clears throat> so it's about knowing how much revenge you're going to feed, the likelihood of what you can get. Just like earlier when I was getting the hundred ms timing off counter GB, I've never got that four times in a row in four thousand <laughs> hours. So getting that is not something I'm going to base my whole life around when it matters on venge. But if he's low revenge, it might be worth it, especially if he's a, a low amount of health where I thought I could get an XE. Centurion sometimes is a little easier. I mean, you get the damage reduced a lot, but you can get the XE for low health because it's a really quick heavy. So <clears throat> it, it can be based around that. But really, all you're trying to do is keep that meter as low as you can while you whittle down his health. And then as he gets to the killing zone, right, somewhere where maybe if it's, you know, some heroes have 100 o ganks, uh, Centurion and a lot of people, or Shigoki and some people. If you've got these ganks, then it's like, okay, well, you can start your gank from whatever and you don't worry about revenge. But a lot of people's ganks, especially bash ganks and things like that, they do feed revenge and they do go into longer chains. So you have to know, like, okay, we can do the Warlord Centurion bash gank when they have zero revenge. But if we come on the point and they have half Venge, then we need to do this version of the gank that doesn't involve the bash so it won't feed revenge. So it's all about finding a way to kill people before you fill up that orange bar. And the most important thing you can know is what feeds revenge and when it feeds revenge and how much revenge it feeds. And those, and you just want to try to use the most useful things for your team. And MM, it's just a shit show. You're just doing whatever you can <clears throat> to try to get it to work. But in a competitive environment, if you're working with teammates and you're trying to get better, you guys have to work out, here's the gank we do from no Venge, here's half Venge, here's what we do when the guy's 1 HP and 99 Venge. You want to have all those different things laid out because they, they're different on every character. It's not everyone's going to be the same and not everyone's going to have the same rule. But those are the type of things that you want to go over, and that's what you're going to use this information for. You don't want to bash when he has high Venge. And you don't want to add in useless attacks that, that aren't going to do anything. Especially don't want to add in damage reduced attacks like Score talked about, where this guy's got tags. Suddenly, your team meet, teammate GBs him and decides, I know what I want to do. I want to throw him into a wall. Or just throw him. Just throw the guy randomly. Yeah. Huh. Not into me. Throw him again. Yeah, you're right. So now he throws him. This gets, this gets blocked. And even if it would have, it would have got crazy damage reduced. And it gives him all the revenge in the world. Um... And so uh, when that happens, you, you just want to be able to know what you can use and what you can't use uh, in order to get people down. Because you will find that your gameplay and your wins come a lot easier when you don't allow people to get orange and stand still. And especially in the matchmaking, because you just saw Vengeful Barrier pop up there. That is an extra 25 health uh, that is uh, not going yeah, to actually... take from some charge. Talking of 25 health and, and Vengeful Barrier, let's, well, let's demonstrate quickly. Um, Another excellent reason why you definitely should not spam like feed revenge over and over to somebody who just who just exited. Let's give him revenge once. Um, oh, I can't do this kick thing. Right, and then red pops it, and then we're gonna keep spamming attacks on him. Um, and he's gonna get revenge again, even though he's still got vengeful barrier up. Yeah. No, did, it again. You, did you get in time? I think oh, we no, I should have. I had a sliver so. of shield left, yeah. And. Oh, all right. No. We, we, we genuinely didn't. All right, well. Um, Just kick him. Mikey Dick, so much stamina. All there right. you go. He still had it then. Yeah, he should have full. Should have full Vin shield. So we are about to experience the revenge shield bug. No, we're not. Oh. I'm not getting just, to, to, to stop with the kicks. You're moving them too far. It's yeah, yeah, just spam GB. Oh, we'll just keep on spamming so he still adds tags. Whilst that's another thing, whilst the person's in range, they can still keep tags. So, um, this is getting out before this thing's over. I see it. 
there. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be it, right? I mean, it was definitely before it was gone. Yeah. Hey. Hey, there we go. Right, Full health shield. So um, now, yeah, you get that instead. So this is triggered very consistently. Basically, any shield you get when you leave revenge will have the health of uh, the remaining revenge shield you had. So BP tier one works. BP tier way. one works like this. Um, Yorm's tier, Yorm's tier two thing was a classic, although it's low, low low duration, so it doesn't work as much. But now ventral barrier is the is the really obvious one. If you have ventral barrier active when you enter revenge, you're gonna leave revenge with all the remaining shield that you had um, for the full duration of uh, ventral barrier, which I think is 15 seconds now or something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So yeah, uh, be be wary of uh, people with ventral barrier, and if you're if you're throwing attacks, even if they've got like oh Tiandi's tier four is another one that does that does it a lot. Even if they're really low health, but they've got ventral barrier, don't fucking spam them because you're gonna get um they can survive with a, a full health bar for even long. I think you double the value of their revenge by having it the health last twice as long. Um. So we've talked a lot about not giving revenge, but I want to I will ask Rohit here, what do you do in order to get revenge when, let's say, you're in a situation where the people you who are ganking you, they know not they know not to feed revenge. How are you going to try and trick them into getting into giving you tags when they like what's your techniques you use to try and force the people your opponents to give you revenge so if i was to get a tag from let's say kyle so let's say kyle tagged me i would be it gives me the opportunity to be more aggressive so i would start attacking kyle since um if his teammate wants to stop anything his teammate would have to apply a tag while kyle's tag is also on me yeah so, we'll so that's, that's one way of, yeah you do your unblockable and then yeah, and then you GB my recovery or you punish it. Yeah, you try to peel for your teammate. Uh, that's one way of me getting venge. Or if I just put myself in any sort of recovery. So let's say I was playing Warlord, right? And Kyle did give me a tag, and I bash headbutt Kyle. And then um, Spaniard GBs my recovery. That's 20 or, what is it, 30? It's 30, 30. for GBs. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, 30, 30 venge right there. So whenever you have a tag, it does give the person in the anti-gank situation, it gives them the opportunity to be a little aggressive you don't want to be too aggressive because let's say uh just give me venge so i can have zero venge let's say oh, i had to lose it by um by just going oh, I can unlock. Yeah. yeah but um let's say i had zero venge and then i put myself in a recovery but kyle was still the only one to uh, apply a tag to me especially at this hp one gb would just wipe all my hp just like that if i was being too aggressive with the uh with one tag applied onto me so you, there are so, situations uh, uh, just just GB me, a uh, Spaniard, and then punish it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Like both of you get a heavy on it. Like, if I'm aggressive at that HP, I'm dead, and there goes my whole like, uh, opportunity at getting venge or even having a chance at stalling, till a teammate can rotate over, or just anything. Like I can't make a move anymore. I'm basically dead, and now I'm back to resetting and spawn. Yep. The well, less health you have, the less aggressive you can I, be. I, I I would say that also applies to Venge. I would not be very aggressive if, if you're low Venge, because if they're looking to get some kind of gank set up on you. And if you're low Venge and you let them GB you, you gave them a gank set up that they're looking for. I, 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 you want to tend to be like only aggressive when you have higher Venge, where like, they can't afford... Like, a, where a GB is not a gank setup, where, like, if they GB to my double heavy, if that, all that gave you Venge, that's no longer a gank setup they have. So now, because you had higher Venge, they don't have access to that setup. Now you can be aggressive without fear of that. Yeah, it's like exactly. how Kyle was saying about what you need to know what you can do. You also need to know when you're, in a, what, when you're being ganked what your opponents can do and what options they have available to them in order to be able to defend correctly against those, those options. Well, it's just like Rob was saying, like, take Lawbringer. Lawbringer's top light's not enhanced, right? I haven't played him in forever. It's not, but... Right, okay. So, for example, if we were to give this guy a high venge, let's GB him a few times and then let his tags reset. Maybe, like, uh... Oh, that's it. Okay, that's yeah. 
So oh, okay, stop sorry. right there. Stop. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we let tags uh, reset here. I'm going to put one tag on Rawit, and now he's going to need Spaniard here to tag him. So I'm going to hit Rawit with a heavy. He's going to block it. And then Rawit's going to throw a top light. I'm going to block it. That's going to guarantee a GB from Spaniard here. Well, that actually didn't give revenge. But in, a, in that case, it fills yeah. that whole revenge bar up. So Rawit can bait that out. So just like Score said, when he knows he's high revenge, he can throw out an attack and go, well, if this dude will just GB my recovery, then I'm going to get revenge. And now, I mean, with the fact that you can hold revenge in this video game, how are we supposed to attack this guy? Yeah. Like, especially yeah. if you have kind of low health, like, what are you going to do? Like, I can't even punish my parries. I just have to stand here and just hope that one day he does something. And then I get everybody to punish, and then he's dead, and then all that jazz. Yeah, yeah no, his teammates here, and, and now he's in the whole deal. Incredibly yeah. favorable 1v1. So, yeah, you, that was. Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. No, you, 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 you say, right? I was going to say, whatever, when Kyle was talking about that, usually you can get venge by just like messing, you know, with the player's muscle memory because. Uh, Kyle blocked the light attack. Most comp players are going to be like, oh shit, this guy blocked the light attack. This is my time to GB this guy's recovery. But most of the time, they'll just tunnel vision on it too hard and not pay attention to the bench. Or it could be any recovery in general. And then that GB will give the opponent bench when, like, in that situation, you wouldn't want to do that. You would want to be aware of, you know, every piece of information you can get. So yeah. the lawbreaker doesn't get bench. And if you're um, worried your teammate's going to tunnel vision, uh, if they're very high binge, I would say before, like, Lawbringer's mine. Don't touch Lawbringer, no matter what. I don't care what happens, don't hit him. Because, you know, usually at that case, like, we're talking he's low health, high binge. Maybe he's a bar and a half of health, and he's almost got revenge. And the last thing I want is just like Rawit said, because it is. It's ingrained in your mind. When a warlord does headbutt light, somebody GB that man. Like, whoever didn't get uh, headbutted, somebody GB him. Or when you see that non-enhanced light block, somebody GB him. So when that happens, you're going to want to, you know, it, if they're not aware, right, if you don't have someone like Rawat said who's paying attention and being active, I would always tell them just don't touch him. No matter what, don't touch this guy. Like, just leave him be because the last thing you want to do is give that guy revenge, let him do what Rawat just did. He just killed my teammate, and now I'm in a, a 1v1 where I'm in trouble, and you know Rawat's team's on the way. He just anti-ganked, killed one of us, and got revenge. So I'm probably going to get ganked when they get there, and then it's all going to go downhill from there. Feeding yeah. revenge can just be ginormous. Yeah, and and even for things like yeah, maybe uh, your instinct is not to guard break recoveries of if you know it's, it's uh, I guess a more advanced thing, but things like uh, if you throw a, you know a top light that Rohit parries and goes into his big add mortem punish, um, you know your instinct will be to interrupt that the light parry punish um, because you know that is what you want to save your friend from being hit by a big top heavy. Um, that's slow and it's very easy for me to interrupt if 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 um, uh, Kyle gets a, his light parried. Oh. oh, okay. Apparently, I'm an idiot, but <laughs> but very easy for me to uh, very, yeah. very easy for me to interrupt. But you're but, gonna add into. But I'm adding wrench. So in in a, in the case when we're talk when let's say Rohit's at two bars and uh, Kyle's at full health, but Rohit's also at almost full revenge. It's not worth me interrupting that unblockable if it's going to give, um, if it's going to give Kyle. If it's uh, gonna give it, for, for just the lights, worth it is worth. As long as the light itself doesn't give Venge, I would always interrupt the. Yeah, I guess so. I, mean, I was well, saying, say you had to match interrupt... somebody out of a punish or two something yeah. though. Could help. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'd be a scenario. All right, let us talk. So we talk, you mentioned it about holding revenge, and you've been seeing this this whole time. Is that uh, Rose revenge? Whilst he's locked on, is not going down. You're, once you have that yellow bar, until you use it or die, that is yours forever. And it means the same with uh, having it, you know, the built up. The only way you can lose it is by dying, or as Rohit's about to, to discover, walking around without being locked on. Um, there we go. And but you can also have breaks of not locking on, like Rawa was doing too. So you can chase yep. people down, lock onto him for a second, chase people down, lock onto him for a second, and you can just hold it forever. Yeah, like he's doing now. He went down to a quarter bar bench, but he's just running around and locking on every now and then, and he gets to keep it. I don't yep. know how long it is. Do you have to go? I think through? it's nine seconds with, with being unlocked. Lock? It's, with what? Yeah, it's. A, a huge amount of time before right, it starts going down. We can, we can yeah, find out right now. now. GB this man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. All right. Sorry. I, I started looking it up. Uh, all right. I'll check the value. 
I mean, it's, I don't think I've got any. Unlocked. Yeah. About six seconds, what All I right, can. So, yeah, I'm so, just guessing. Yeah, six seconds. I mean, I don't know if that's right. That's I counted that in my head. In, you know, like uh, old school American one Mississippi, two Mississippi shit. So I don't know yeah. if it's right, but it's about six. Yeah. It's a long yeah, about... time. Yeah. Oh, I, I even have the numbers how long it takes for a full revenge bar to go down. Oh, nice. It's 7.7 seconds for a 120 HP hero and 9.2 for a 140 HP one. That's Bruh. a long time. <laughs> yeah. And because it's, so, you know always stays on, you can keep this revenge, like, even if you're in a team fight scenario where where you some you all you all get revenge sometimes just because um, the way the tag systems work we we've talked about already if let's say you're in a team fight and and one of your uh, often this happens with your ally has gone out of stamina so then he can't peel for for you so your the two opponents that are left will focus you for a bit well you're going to get revenge in that in that period and even when it goes back into being a two v two later you will still have that. When your when your ally gets his um, stamina back and can contribute again, he, he's still going to have that revenge built up from beforehand. So you can keep, uh, you know, your yellow bar for as long as you as you need it, really. And and that is something to be thinking about as well, if you if you can um, to. Yeah, right. it, you can you can get super tagged up in one team fight basically, and then you win that team fight. And there's another one going on in mid right next to you. You can go from that side point to mid, depending on the map, and still hold all of the bench. Just yeah, crazy. And and it also gives you the capacity to then you will actually be able to stall much better on those. You can you can run you, with with holding a range. You can run into a scenario where you are you know very unfavored and be okay because you know that they can't touch you without giving you revenge. Um, so should we talk a little about hold it, not just like holding the amount of revenge, but when you're holding a full revenge bar? Um... So, what reven revenge pops? Let's talk about them. Um, this is when you're in this situation here, when your your icon is glowing yellow, you are the most aggressive you can you can be the most aggressive you can be in this game. Uh, anything that the the an opponent does to to you you can counter or within reason um like certain things like um direct damage bashes for example will kill you directly through your um revenge even, bar. even though you're holding the yeah. revenge but you know anything you even if you um see an attack coming you've got time to pop pop revenge and so when you're holding revenge this is when you want to attack um, am i i want am i wrong in saying that or anything no you you're right I would be, I mean, I would be uh, aggressive to a certain point, but at the same time, I'm also looking for like, because uh, the people against me are gonna want to try to bait me and pop my revenge or make me have a bad revenge pop. Uh, let's say Kyle would just keep spamming heavy fates against me. I would want to ideally pop my revenge on a light attack so I can get my uh, revenge pop punish. But you know, you two would normally be feigning heavies at me and trying to trick me into popping it. Because most of us can't, you know, distinguish the two and we would just pop on an indicator, for example. Yeah, like so. raw, throw, raw throw heavy. So I might parry it and then I might faint like I was going to punish, right? Yeah. Like immediately he thinks like, oh, he's going to punish it and then I get him to pop and now we don't have to die anymore. Now you don't have to worry about the scary man glowing yellow. Yeah, and yeah. you just run away from him until he runs yeah. out. And, and you can run away from him. So, so yeah, so... Uh, so when you like, you want to make good use of your revenge pop because, as you, as we said, um... and you don't want to be like some players will just hold the revenge till they're one HP and not even get any use out of it. Yeah, yeah not any good for that. Big agree. Don't 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 try to take it too don't much get of a too hero greedy. level. Yeah, yeah. yeah, don't get too crazy with it. Because too, like it's nice to come out of revenge and have a lot of health. Like, yeah, it's nice to come out of it and still be half health or more. Like, if I, I guess, pop it here, Kyle can bleed me under my shield, and I would be dead. So all that HP I sacrifice for wanting to hold my Venge even longer makes it so I don't stall as long either. Also, that's cool. No boo tip or anyone else with a bleed attack. Uh, if people are in revenge, you spam bleed attacks into them, especially while they're aggroed on other people, because uh, bleed goes under the revenge bar, so they can be dead under it. 
Yep. Um, so we'll we'll just review of when the person is holding revenge as an attacker, you want to try and bait them into popping, or you want to get them low enough if they are holding, you want to use attacks that you think they're not going to be able to react to with pop the revenge. Um and you want to be able to put them down to low enough that when you get when they do come out of revenge after popping, they're they're going to be vulnerable. Um so that's when you're when they're holding revenge. But when they have revenge, what do you want to do when they have revenge? Like uh, they're actually in the revenge state. Yeah, that's what I was just about to talk about. So give me revenge. So same thing applies when you're ganking the guy. You would want to try to get grab a recovery. You can either be ballsy enough and try to go for the hundred mess and chain, or let's say I throw a UB at Spaniard and Kyle GBs me while I'm in venge. And then what Kyle would want to do, oh, oh but you be hit him. But <laughs> what good. Kyle would want to do, you can just GB me. What Kyle would want to do is uh, just try to stall my venge as long as he can. So he would wall splat me and that would be basically half of the duration of my venge. So if I just pop venge here and let's say, you know, Kyle did grab a recovery. So GB me, you would just, he would try to delay his throw as long as he can and then yeah. wall splat me. And then there goes almost the entirety of my revenge. You just and want to take as it. much time. Yeah, you just want to take as much time off as you can, because the only damage yeah. you're going to do is with bleed, or I believe fire too. I think could fire can go under too, right? Yeah. But, but outside of that, you're not going to do any other damage since people don't have that anyway. So the only thing I'm going to do, like um, give raw revenge, right? Like raw would say you can GB recovery and you can throw something like that, and then just raw would pop and go crazy on the Shino. I'm just going to look for him here because as a Nobushi, it's less risky for me um, to try to do this. See, that way when he comes out, now I've taken a bunch of his health, and now I have a chance to actually do something when yeah. we come back. And then it could, you know, depend on what you have on your team. You could have a BP on your team, for example, with Oathbreaker, and then, then you could, you know, the Venge Shield wouldn't matter. You yeah. can just keep being aggressive and kill the guy. You could be a warlord, and you could stare for recoveries as hard as you humanly can and try to get a ledge. You could find a million things to do. You could be sick yeah. and punch him in the head for 10 minutes, because that'll take all their revenge. Them super low boop, 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 right in the head. All of it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but why do you not want to... So, like, we've talked about... You know, we, everybody uh, who's in the game knows the you know, sort of scary orange bar, but, but well, let's talk a little about what the powers you have when you're in your enraged state, and why you don't want to attack them if you unless you can grab a recovery or something like that so yeah, so uh even you know if you did have a bp on your team i do still have the whole super armor property these guys can still attack into me and let uh, just attack into me and then i can still gb you and get a throw punish it wouldn't matter i can still be super aggressive i would lose some hp but that would only be my shield hp but i uh, hear give me venge again there is a way to beat throw punishes. If I were to get a GB on Spaniard, oh, let me pop then. Sorry. Yeah, you would do what Kyle just did there. So let's say I get a GB punish and I throw him. You would want to bash uh, the guy in Venge to prevent Spaniard from falling down. So if Kyle didn't have to go into hidden stance and he had a better bash, like Warlord or BP, uh, Spaniard wouldn't have even fell down to the ground there, and you wouldn't even have to worry about eating hundred plus crazy odd damage like that. Because, of course, when you're in revenge, you also get a 30% damage bar. If you yeah. grab Kyle, um, I'll... Oh, oh. somebody playing TG Shinobi. I'm amazing, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but you, you can bash people out of it. That's going to be your best way to stop it. Yeah. And that's going to be your best thing to do. If you see that your your teammate gets GB'd, you want to have some type of bash to get him out. Don't try to peel with heavies or other things like that, because you're mm -hmm. not going to get anything out of it. Yeah. And then... So, yeah, you can give me bash the person out of their bash the person out of their throws. Um, yeah, but be careful about bashing them in. You know what? Bashing in yeah. general in revenge is not a great idea. Like so, I if yeah. you're right here, like, you pop revenge and I go and bash you. Oh, I didn't oh. attack. Sorry, but I, I was gonna go down the route you're going. So just give me revenge again. Yeah. So I was gonna say, um, like how fan you're just talking about. Uh, yeah, you can interrupt throws with bashes, but let's say. They think I was going to go for a throw and I just commit to my GB punish. Now his bash won't do anything. So I'm going to pop. Kyle, you try to bash. Well, he died. So Yeah, but I could, <laughs> even if I could have got there, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because I could have yeah. knocked him out of it. Yeah. It just so would have hit him and it would have been a. Spaniard was going to die there anyway, even if uh, 
Kyle tried to stop me from throwing if Kyle thought I was going to throw. So most people, yeah. uh, you know, at a high level, like their first instinct is, oh, my teammate got GB'd by a guy in Venge, let me just bash. But if like uh, the other guy knows that, they're just going to do a side heavy, and the side heavy could even clip the guy bashing. So now you both eat a crazy uh, amount yeah, of damage. Okay, just, yeah. It's very, it's very, you have to realize what's going on. Like Rod said, he's yeah, going to know. you have to pay attention. He's going to know, don't throw this Shinobi and try to get a uh, a punish out of the deal because he's going to get kicked. So just like you said, we'll do this again and I won't screw up this time. I'll be closer. Yeah. So he GBs this guy. I still got to eat it anyway, right? Like, I, all yeah. I did, I, he's got it from there anyway, and I'm doing that on, like, coming super late so it doesn't matter he's still eating all the damage and i haven't saved much from happening yeah he ate 32 damage heavies and kyle did try to interrupt it and nothing happened yeah so it's definitely better to even though the, the punishes you can get from revenge are massive it's definitely better to go for the a lower but you know confirm as long as you punish. got something out of it if you did yeah. go for the throw punish and they knew that now that's like three or four seconds of your revenge gone now it's harder for you to try to get a crazy throw punish again because you only had one opportunity to do so. Yeah. Well, um, I kind of feel like that's the, the basis of what to do to give revenge, or what to do to give revenge, what to do to not to give revenge, and then what to do once you're holding it. I mean, the I, it is a complicated mechanic in kind of how it works and what feeds and what doesn't, so it's kind of character-specific. Like a lot of things in these games, some what's best for some isn't best for others based on what they do. But at the same time, um, it really just boils down to don't let little orange bar fill up around their emblem. I mean, it it doesn't get much simpler than that. And then some moves revenge lock, uh, which is handy information to know too uh, in your kit because you can know that you can do something and not have to worry about it. I believe sickle yeah. rain revenge locks. If I'm um, correct. It does. Oh, it does. Yeah. It? Okay. All right. So, well. Yeah, when you him. do the three stabs, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's get get Rohit to like lowish health, I guess. Um, I mean, it's uh, not just gonna... give me like high venge, and then because it the first hit I can pop, but you have to do the three stabs, so I'll get yeah. venge here. All right. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to get venge. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, let's say I go. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm with you now. Yeah. Right. So the 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 first part I can pop, but as soon as you do the three stabs or the three whatever, I can't pop there. Yeah, I was actually just gonna let 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 you get, um, like you know, full revenge, and then actually land oh, it on just you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you can I, demonstrate then. So you, yeah. Um, so you can just give me full revenge. Yeah, yeah. We should I was full just revenge. fucking low attack. All right, so like, if I, I could pop there, but if he does this, I'm popping. I'm mashing R. I can't pop. So I have to do it early on in that in order for that heavy to kill. Yeah, I have to so do that... it before the third tick. Yeah, that gives your you know your teammate. A chance to add in damage on it before I'm able to pop Venge. Yeah, we'll do that again. again. Um, you should probably wait for my shield to run out and then do it. Okay, it's gone. So if Kyle attacks me here, I'm dead. I couldn't pop Venge. I got outplayed. GG. GG's. Right you guys need the heal. Yeah. Yeah. So the, that's something to notice for, for lots of other moves that can Revenge pop. Um, sorry, Revenge. Revenge lock. Um, like shaman bite, um, bite, hug. hug. Um, I mean PK bleed stabs. I think they do. That's just, it works just like uh, any pin move. No right? Yeah, yeah. Glad skewer. Glad long skewer arm. does. Long, oh, no, long arm, arm does. doesn't anymore. Not oh. anymore. No, you can't pop whilst you're in. Whilst you're in the long arm, you can't. I can't pop there until I hit the floor. You will. Oh. I'll be able. To, I'll be able to pop before the heavy. That can long arm confirms, confirms, but you I can't pop in the middle of it. So let's say I'm if a, I I'm hit a, like, you in the head with a heavy, like as you flip over, yeah, like right oh, there, gotcha. yeah, there yeah. Um, I can pop like when I hit the ground, but I can't pop before I hit the ground. So gotcha. most of the time, like you'll be, you've hopefully, if you've been playing this game, you trained yourself to not interrupt things like Goki hug, um, shaman and bite before they do damage. Um, but in some cases, or like you know, in long arm, you don't want to interrupt it so the Lawbringer can't get there heavy as well. But actually, in some cases, you do want to when they're when they're holding revenge. This is an opportunity to get the kit, you know, get extra damage or a kill on um, a person. So that's something that's handy to do, even if the person's at ninety nine percent revenge. If you can land a hug on them, or if you can land a long arm on them, let's say they put themselves in recovery and then 
if it gets a guard break, and then he can use his long arm from a guard break with that weird. Yeah, you know, that is even if if Kyle was at ninety nine percent revenge there, that is a, a guaranteed kill for um. Good team. But, yeah, even if the, yeah, even if the even if the long arm itself does give revenge, um, you can that's a guaranteed kill. So things like direct damage bashes, um, are really good for attacking an opponent who's on. We should low that's health. another thing to talk about because Shugo headbutt is a bash, but it only feeds ten damage or ten venge. Yeah, should we switch other characters? Um, yeah, or, let's yeah. swap. I think it's the same thing with Musha too. Ring the bell yeah. is Ring the a bell, quote yeah. bash, but it only feeds. Uh, how much damage it's uh i think it just gives t- i think it only gives 30 as well it doesn't even give more damage than uh a bash of the same of the same like if you were to, if you were to bash uh, let's say you do tiandi's bash light is going to give 30 for the bash and then 12 for the light afterwards but uh, aramusha's bash is just going to give 30 revenge so i, I think that's the case I'll- you guys can double check. No, you, you, I'll be gank this time because then. Okay. Um, I'll go Misha Kyle. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll go <coughs> Fat Hero. Oh, you played the Fat Guy? <coughs> but oh, this lets you see. Um, the 140 map. HP. So, and I think that's why people are considering Aramusha such a good. One of the reasons why they consider him such a good character is that he can pressure somebody, even if they're. You, if you're in a situation where you know, he can do a mix-up on you and you're, you're like holding revenge, you, like other characters have no external pressure. Even a character with a bash, like or Black Prior, for example, when the opponent is holding, like almost holding full revenge, they haven't got external pressure anymore because whatever you know the character the Amusha bashes, I can still pop revenge before his light finisher hits me. But with um, these guys, like. They can pun it. You can pressure me at, at like ninety nine percent. Find a low health and full revenge. Yeah, let's give him make him one HP. Oh, okay, he's one HP. All right. Yeah. You want to give him revenge or get him around the edge? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you can. You can literally give me revenge. Um, yeah, he can't pop. Oh yeah, that's right. He can't pop. Is that enough to kill? Yeah, him? That, that should be enough, right? Like so. Now, if Rohit kills me, oh, okay. Uh, again, oh, there right, you go. Well, yeah, this will kill, and he can't pop. Yeah. You know, I'd have dead. to I'd have to pop before that hits me, um, mm-hmm. to go through. And he's not going to get a punish off that either because it's a bash, so um, you're not going to knock him down can... or anything. No, but you can get a guard break on um on a few. So I mean, it's not risk free. Um, uh, go on, and you can do the same thing again. And all right, I'll go all right. Time to um... block, or I'll just shoot you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's built in, man. I don't yeah, know what yeah, to do. That, just, that 100 ms timing. There, you got you, it. When, I did it again, dude. I'm yeah, yeah, he did this. this. Yo, I'm why are you tired, man? What's going on? I don't know, man. I'll come back. I'll be the 100 ms man. That's what they yeah, call me. Number Mr. one player, Mr. 100 ms. Uh, that's uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he good. got health back for some reason. Anyone else see that? All, All right, I right. just lag on my end. Um, do you want to give him vent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so you can. Um, well, I'm out of your, stem, yeah. Well, someone can. You can't because it just bounces. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, some, 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 some have low recovery. I guess I was. I thought that would actually. Uh, like, um, if if you, you do a Goki, oh, I'm an idiot. If you did the Goki one, um, even the if I think I'd be able, I, yeah, I think I'd be able to grab you out of revenge. Uh, mm, grab you out of the recovery. I mean, you have to hit the hundred ms, right? Because I could just chain heavy. I think. You can guard break through those, can't you? Well, well no, it's... yeah, in Venge, you... Yeah, it you doesn't matter if it's in Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter. Grab him a little bit, okay. Well, you can do it, do it again this time. Well, we'll bother giving low health. Like... Yeah. Go on, tag me, Kyle. 100 MS, but can't give fucking Venge, man. <laughs> he's, he's just trained so well. All, All right. right, so now if you head me, Kyle... Um... You're correct. Uh, I was pop. spamming the revenge button there as well. I just it just didn't do anything for me. I, well, it's, maybe I was pressing something else at the same time. You're correct. <laughs> fat, fat finger. I usually, you oh, usually don't want to pop revenge on bashes anyway, unless it's going to kill. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think you get anything out of it. We're about to find out right now. Well, normally yeah. you would. Yeah, normally you'd get a, a garbage punish off a, a a bash that hits hits you in your. All yeah. right, you ready to pop? Ready? Yeah. 
Okay, he grabbed me out of Did it. Did you try to chain there? Yeah. Above well, yeah, of course he's going to grab you out of it. I saw his indicator come up. So that's oh, we, like... We can try afterward. Hold on, right, yeah, I'll don't chain. To... Just don't chain. Don't chain. Yeah, I'm going to not chain. Hundred MS right. uh, T-shirt designs. Where do I send them? Oh, grab you can, you can grab him. Yeah, yeah. it might depend on the. Uh, might depend, and that's a nice what? <laughs> Sixty-five damage punish. Yeah. I guess uh, ring the bell just works differently because every time you pop Venge on it, I just bounce. Oh, yeah, weird. We, we both we both bounce. I don't see a special like breaking funny the rules for a funny game. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. a pin animation, right? So, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess after. I guess I didn't. I guess I popped too slow. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, if you did, just bounce. Yeah. So it's not risk free to to uh, at least the go key to. Yeah. Yep. Oh, apparently, it's risk free without a musha. All right. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about that. I don't think I could. I probably can't even hit you out of it. Um, probably not. Uh, uh, he, he might. You might just blade blockade it. Yeah, we can. Oh, we can find out. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. The extra Aramusha for tips. Um, I love this cake. Fifty high level uh, tips for Aramusha. Or yeah. I did oh, heavy. I tried to. I tried to blade blockade. I thought you were gonna just like. Lie yeah, no, me. that's why I. I. I get. Yeah. I. I think this is the other thing. I, I'm I'm good at feeling revenge. I'm not good at doing things with it because my brain just switches off. <laughs> okay. Brown right. does that to you. Okay. Let's try now. All right. I'll try again. I couldn't play block hit it because okay. I, I was still bouncing off, but I could still block the light attack. Yeah. So, you know, that's it's... Cool. so you're going to get nothing off that. Yeah. Um, we talked a bit about bleed when they're holding revenge. I guess you switch away from bleed characters. When they're holding revenge, it's not necessarily a good idea to poke bleed into them because that will then go onto their shield and yeah. it will damage the shield instead of... So whilst we talk about bleed doing damage under your shield, what it does is it just adds damage to, like, I guess the end of the health bar. And if the end of the health bar is covered in shields, it will do damage to the shield first. And it won't, won't be... Um, when you leave revenge, you won't still be bleeding um, it's good at it's good at adding damage to people who are just about to leave revenge because then they will come out of revenge and they'll still be bleeding but mm -hmm. not if they are about to go into revenge and then they will you know usually yeah. that's why you would want to do it when the guy guy's hp is a bar or less under the revenge shield or else basically it wouldn't really do anything because the guy will still be alive once the shield's gone yeah. Mm, here's a cool uh, Shigoki only tip for managing Venge. If you know that a headbutt um, is coming, so all right. So many of you know that if this attack is not parried, it guarantees headbutt, right? So if your Shigoki teammate comes running into the fight and they don't see him, and you get this, as soon as Rawit sees this top part land, he knows he can get a confirmed heavy because that is going to be guaranteed. So based on where their Venge is and the fact that that's low damage, see how only you only deal with very little... He can heavy off that, and we don't have to worry about giving him Venge. And you know it's guaranteed, so you can use that to base off your numbers. And the headbutt feeds very little Venge anyway, so you don't worry about it adding a bunch, and you really just don't have to worry about your heavy. So at the moment, with that bug, whatever that is existing, uh, that's another thing you can add in. It's super nuts in a team fight because also, too... Uh, Robert throw heavy, heavy into his guard. I can just headbutt for second one, like, and it feeds very little Venge coming off of it. I threw that too late. Throw the same side. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll just pop yeah, I'll, I'll do the I'll do the finisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was not the finisher. Was yeah, it? no, it wasn't. There you go. Yeah, and I can just headbutt for the chain, the same way you used to toe stab, and it doesn't feed nearly as much Venge, so you can. Blow people up with it. Works just like toe stab used to, where you could light toe stab for heavy. I mean, toe stab still works that way, but yeah. you can also do a shoe go ahead. But block confirm will confirm the bash, and the bash will confirm a chain attack. I mean, that works yeah. with any bash as well. Um, I, yeah. Yeah. headbutt doesn't give headbutt gives exactly. the same amount of revenge as other bashes, doesn't it? It just does uh, it give thirty. Oh, oh, I think it gives ten damage. Oh, I think so. go on, go tag me. Or ten, ten venge. Yeah, well, yeah, I need a tag. Yeah, let me just uh, wait for the tag to go out and then. 
Oh, Peter. okay. Got it. Yeah. So I'll apply the first tag, and then you just headbutt him. Yeah, so that's oh, 30. So it does. 30. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it does 30 and does 10 damage on top of... Yeah, so, okay. So, yeah. Whereas other bashes it... give you the tag and the 30, and then they do extra yeah. damage. To add so it's extra. just a Musha thing. Yeah. Because Musha doesn't give 30. Does he not? I'm pretty sure he does. Go on, let's try... Let's do, let's, All right, uh... my tag first. Oh, oh I was going to um, let it go away. Oh, but, yeah, just let yeah. it go out. Oh, so we can compare. Because that's what go. makes Musha so good. His, his version of the you know bush for heavy gank is 10 times better. No, no that one gives well. 30. Oh, no, it does give 30. Yeah. Huh. No. yeah. All, all bashes um, do. I think, like, I guess these... something that uh, you'll notice, but not every direct damage bash gives. So, uh, you tag me, um, Rohit, and then and then uh, Kyle hugs me. Yeah. See, do you see there that it d gave me a tag on the bash landing and also for the damage it did? It gave me a wrench for both of them. Yeah, so, let me show you. Let me show you some cool tech. Yeah, go on then. Okay, Rowett, you're gonna GBM give him a tag. You're gonna dodge my hug. Ready? Go ahead. Oh yeah, they just found this out earlier, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah hug doesn't it pretty the early, then. Of, well, it doesn't I mean, I'll matter. Again. It doesn't yeah. matter. The first part of the hug doesn't give. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Dodge it. Damn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Normally that would mean that that's a minute a minimal amount, but yeah, that is. Uh, it doesn't really hug at all. It doesn't move it. So, yeah, you can just spam yeah. hug. So like, see, I mean, it doesn't. Not, not the risk, most risk-free move. But... Well, in this two v one scenario, though, like, so say, so say for example, we're doing an infinite hug gank, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hug you. Raw, it's gonna heavy, and then you're gonna dodge my second hug. You got that? Yep. Okay. So he's gonna do this. Now my teammate doesn't know how to oh, confirm. He... So you dodge yeah, this. Yeah. You dodge oh. too early again. And it's not going to give any vents, right? So even if he had added his heavy tag in there and it's two, I can spam my follow-up hug afterward, and the only risk is, yeah, you throwing a heavy at me. Big, big deal. Like, unless that heavy kills me, that's a yeah, bad like attack on your part. Yeah, we're both so full HP. Let's say we did yeah. get the gank off, we're both full HP. Your heavy's not going to do anything. Yeah. yeah. So on that throwdown, uh, I just may kill you. No, like... See, but even with that, right? Like, he added a tag, and then I missed a hug off of it, and it still didn't matter because the hug didn't give any extra revenge. So that you, one afterward, you can just kind of use. I mean, if it lands, it's going to give its revenge, but if it misses, like, it's not like other bashes or things where you're going to eat the revenge anyway. Yeah, um, but if it lands, if it giving revenge is not a big deal. If you tag me again, Rohit, and then land the hug. Um... Oh, okay, no, I died. You anyway. Yeah, you yeah. But even if I'm holding revenge, it's one of these pinning moves. It's going to do its damage before I can pop revenge. So you know, yeah. even, if, even if the initial hit gives me revenge, um, no, I'm 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 still dead. Uh, you know, and even if I'm unlike if I'm at, if I'm at more than twenty, well, uh, Rohit can throw a heavy side heavy and get like you know, it's a revenge ping attack again. So this guy's bad. Oh man, I don't even play the game and I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. You got to you got to land it you know before what? the uh, yeah the attack lands, but the the damage does of the of the of the hug. All right, I guess we'll wait for yeah, 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 yeah. It all comes down to like uh, just being able to know what you can do and when, and so much of it is character specific. Once you get kind of the rules of how it works, right? So like these mu these add this much avenge, these don't, so on and so forth. Uh, once you get that down, then it becomes character specific. What do we do when a guy's high vengeance? If it's if Raw is playing with me and he's playing Aramusha, if this dude gets ninety nine vengeance, I'm just gonna let him ring the bell until Kingdom Come. Like it doesn't matter, right? Like it yeah. he can if even if we give him vengeance, like this dude gets vengeance and it doesn't matter because he's never gonna be able to pop by the time uh, it happens. Like obviously he's gonna have to pre pop and not get a punish, which we already determined. Or he can do whatever, right? And now we're just wasting his vengeance. The same thing as before. Wait for it to go out. It doesn't matter. Like nothing he does is going to matter. Yeah, you can. Uh, another thing you can do. We don't spam bashes when they have revenge. When they not got revenge, but when they've got revenge, you can totally spam bashes and try do whatever and you them. want. Just yeah. stop them from moving. Just stop yeah. them getting on their back foot for a minute. And so it's going to be based on the characters you're playing with and what people are capable of doing. If 
if he's at a reasonable amount of revenge like this is here, if I land any attack, Rawit can just GB for my chain. So, Rawit, are you locked on? I'm going to block yeah. Tevi into unblockable. So, I do this. Rawit doesn't have to worry about GBing for it. That was perfect timing, by the way. Uh, Rawit doesn't have to worry about GBing for it. Even if he messes that up and gets the timing wrong, he's going to have 30 more Venge, but he's only going to be at half inch. So, we can just either onesie or let someone else go. So, just knowing what moves you can use when. The biggest culprit this always happens to are centurion ganks people will know how to do the warlord centurion hundred o or the black uh centurion hundred o but they'll do it when a guy already has half venge well you're not going to get to the part of killing them if they already have half venge so that's not the best gank in that scenario uh, based on where you're at yeah you, so see a lot with you the, can't well, stick to one thing a lot partly why yeah. shaman has fallen out of the meta as well because the gank gives so much revenge as well yes. and you know like not going to insta kill so um was uh yeah let's talk about uh, was one more bit about um about sort of the armor we have in revenge so if you guys give me revenge again um and we'll just oh so uh what we'll, we'll try and do i'm gonna just like throw my heavy chain Rohit, you can try and interrupt my chain if you can like you know, you're gonna time yeah. it pro probably i'll, I'll try and try yeah yeah, yeah i'll do it yeah, right. Oh, crack. First time, holy crap! Right. <laughs> yeah, I've done this a lot. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a hundred so ms window in between chains that he's grabbing. It's very yeah. tight, but it, like you Rob can also interrupt can with done. lights as well. You don't have to just guard break. Yeah, guard yeah. break. G special. GB is GB, a safer one to do. Yeah, yeah. and Still it's the best it. because you can waste more time when they're yeah. in bench. Yeah, yeah. When, it, when he can yeah. he can wait for like I think it's 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 a, it's like it's like a second or more. Before you throw the opponent, oh, it's like eight hundred ms. Before you throw, like, let's do it again. Um, oh, that heavy hit me. Oh yeah. Oh, it was too late. Yeah, if I'm late just a bit, uh, you know, I'm gonna get punished yeah. for it's gonna bounce right off. Yeah. So you can learn how to, um, like, when you when you grab an opponent, exactly how long you can wait before you throw them, uh, and still have it work. Because obviously, if you grab them forever, they'll eventually, you know. Th Count it. You can't you just hold them forever, but you can, mm -hmm. you can, <laughs> yeah, you can wait quite a long time before you, before you get that throw out. And if I do fuck up the chain uh, GB, this is where Spaniard would just target swap onto me, and I would eat some meaty damage. I did it too late. Now I ate a thirty-one damage heavy, or he could do a UB or whatever. Headbutt yeah. anything, anything that he has in his chain. He would want to try to punish the guy that tried to go for the GB because yeah. it's, it's free damage. Yeah, but I mean, as well as GBs, yeah, you can you can interrupt with a light. Um, you can interrupt with bash. Spanny wins an anti gang. Woo! On flash, definitely. Yeah, that's a funny. Oh, move that's too. the that's the move we didn't show fancy. Things oh yeah, does that? For. Yeah. Oh, that's a revenge that's lock. This is that's a, the ultimate that's revenge, revenge lock. That's oh, I didn't the revenge, revenge lock move. That's yeah, no. the revenge lock. That's the lock. revenge lock move. Oh, so yeah, revenge. Revenge. All right, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's get, get near here. a wall, Spaniard. Come, come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a very fun move. Yeah. yeah. I want to do the fun. hug afterward, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I wanted him near a wall. All right, he has revenge. All right, here we go. Come this way a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. That's good. Boom, boom. I am mashing boom. the revenge button. Well, okay. I can't get the hug yeah, you first. can't get the hug. That I didn't know that, but I, I that's good to know. But I, I mean you still have, did uh I did so 70 much damage. damage. 70 damage. Yeah. Because yeah. right. he can't pop the whole time, so we'll do that again. I don't know how much that was. It was it was seventy four damage. Okay, All so right. now you pop your wait, let's see. Oh yeah, this way. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. man. You'll just die. So basically, yeah. uh, in this situation, if Spaniard threw a light attack, he has enhanced lights. So we can't really GB a block light recovery there. But let's say he was playing a character like, you know, Aramusha, and uh, he gets his recovery GB'd. He's basically getting 100 to 0 with the Shigoki around. Yeah, or, or a throw, you know. A, a that head also head happens near a wall head. anyway, because yeah. Rawa can do all this, and then I can hug, which is guaranteed yeah. that Rawa gets and another then... heavy. Into another hug. Yeah. All yeah, over and over. Damage, yeah. Very I mean, funny. If, I, if I'm throwing away unblockables that you dodge, 
Uh, if, you, yeah, if, rank. if you're ever curious to, oh, do you want to get GB here? We don't. Yeah, yeah just like, dodge yeah. the UB. Oh, just dodge. You're GB yeah. him. Got it, yeah. got it, got it. Now he's going to get Demon Ball, then the death. Yeah, nothing new yeah. about it. And it's also character specific. Like, if there was a Warlord next to him, Warlord could only get two heavens. But, you know, Musha has an infinite chain, and he has really good forward movement. The guy is basically dead. Yeah. And you definitely want to. Uh... You, you, you want to know like where your punishes are and how to get the most damage. Because like Rawat said, GBs, when, when Shugo lands a GB in a fight, it's pretty much death. I mean, there's not much to be done, although I couldn't hug him there. But normally that hug's guaranteed if I don't hit his body, which guarantees him another hug, and look, all his health will be gone. Yeah. With Warden, it's a, it's a hundred of him. Yeah, he only has half inch. Yeah, like, it only has matter. half inch. And that's if his, like, he got gb in a recovery and he... Yeah, he's dead. Because remember what we talked about at the very beginning that you have to defend successfully to get revenge. So if you, this is the power of these these ganks. If you if you if you can manage to get them off without a, uh, without something that doesn't feed revenge without doing damage, as it as it were. So like this 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 is why it's this is why the the demon ball is so good because if I don't get tags before uh, the guard break comes out, everything. Everything is doing damage for for the revenge it's giving. So all of that, that all of that is is you know not is not giving me any extra revenge. And so you can easily one hundred o me without me getting a full bar revenge because just taking damage is not enough to get a full bar revenge. You and if anyone's revenge. ever curious about like how those meta ganks get put together, it's all based on revenge, like. You look at Glad and say, well, he got reworked and got better, right? Like, his kit got better, he got more access to other stuff. Like, obviously, if Glad was meta before, he's super meta now, right? But no, his Venge used to give, used to be perfect, because even if you countered it four times in a row, you could just do it again, because the skewer gave one revenge, or whatever dumb number it was. Two, yeah. Two. <laughs> it two, so yeah. gave two revenge, so oh, you I could just do it infinitely, and it never mattered whether or not it landed. But then, once they changed it to being a solid 30, now it matters. So now he got moved out of the meta. Shugo has a lot of reasons to be in the meta, but Demon Ball is a great one to have. Or other ganks that he has, infinites that he has, that, that don't give a lot of revenge and things like that. Hug not feeding Venge currently on the chain hug when dodged and stuff like that. Yeah. So having having that like variety in ganks usually makes your character a good pick, too. Shuga doesn't only have Demon Ball, he has an infinite gank, so you have multiple ways to set up like some crazy 100 to 0. Mm. Yeah. Although Hug itself does give a fairly a, a, big, a decent amount of range, gets 30 on top of the 20. Mm. Um, sure. So this, is why, this is why yeah, Shinobi get... in the testing grounds was so nutty, because it, it, all the revenge you're getting is from the damage portion, because the you know, Sickle Rain only oh, did 20, I think. Um, 20 revenge. He did 23. 23 yeah and so you could you know if you loop them into itself over and over again you're not adding any extra revenge other than the damage that you're doing so that's why it was so partly why Here, Ron, let's things. do the let's do the hug infinite and don't give him revenge just stop right before yeah no oh, i did it too early oh, i'm that's pretty dodged anyway i think it's the last one Okay, so let's say we stop here, right? We don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, sure, the hug gives good venge. He now is a bar and a little less than two, and he's going to go up against a Shugo. So good luck, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm just going to put all the pressure I want. Our Musha can just stand there. I just lighten your unblock books. Who cares? And I'm going to win. That's why knowing how much venge you can give and when to stop is important. Because Ra right there is chipping in, chipping in, chipping in. I knew when I could get one more hug, and then I stopped. And once I, after I stopped, then immediately, you know, he either says, hey, I 1v1 or you 1v1, and then we just leave it up there. And then all the other person has to do, I mean, R is a great one to leave the 1v1. He has unreactable neutral offense, and I can just do this just forever from the side. What's he going to do? Like, he's going to get it wrong at some point. He's going to get GB, and in a world of no option select soon, he's really not going to be able to defend himself for long. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, yeah, so then he's extra, extra dead. So you know that that's the type of stuff that matters when you're yeah. when you're learning about managing these tags. Yeah, uh, like like Kyle was talking about Glad Ganks. You know, Gank his Gank did get you know touched. Now it does give like the right amount of venge, but he still has a really good Gank. It's just you have to you know get it off in one go. If you mess it up, now the guy has too much venge. 
Yeah. I mean, a lot of these kind of, a lot of this stuff does expose in my, what I, at least in my personal opinion, I consider like serious design flaws in how revenge works as a system. But at the moment, the game, the game is how it is, you know, it's not enough. Just you can't come, you can complain as much as you want about how, you know, uh, faints and uh, you know the Go goki can sit in the background and fate unblockables endlessly and give and and you know cost him no stamina and give him and give him no revenge um but that's how the game is at the moment and you there's nothing it's gonna be even it. worse whenever they remove office yeah. too because then i've been saying it for the whole past week it's just going to go back to when we were playing with glad when glad had the most broken gank ever you uh Kyle just sits on the external, or I can sit on the external and spam UBs, and now Spaniard has to make the read, oh, is this guy actually going to let the unblockable go? Yeah, and, yeah, like, uh, Sp yeah, exactly. And Spaniard just zone OS there. He's not going to have that whenever Yeah, we'll have that tool. Yeah, yeah you're not yeah. going to have that tool. Ganking's just going to be even more, like, it's just going to be impossible to anti-gank when those per changes come out. At least perfect, we'll perfect example, it, yeah. a perfect example where your Spaniard just don't OS anything would do. If Rawat comes up and locks on, all I have to do is just pick oh. one, okay? Yeah. Even if even if he doesn't do anything, just don't even attack, Raw. You can just like faint and shit. Yeah. Like if, if if he can't OS, right? He has to guess over variably timed heavies, and oh, he got demon balls and he's dead. Yeah. That's a gank now with no with no, just with no OSs. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. indicated game. You just yeah. go. Can you parry on flash? Can yeah. you parry on flash? And oh, yeah. it's can. not even. So yeah, like two people can do it, and now it's a whole read base game which i like but when the damage is you know freaking stupid i didn't want to say another word but <laughs> yeah when it's stupid it's just it's going to be impossible to anti game because now the time to kill is even lower people die in like two seconds yeah so i mean whole... yeah Sorry. i mean i personally think these are these these are uh, you know it demonstrates flaws in the whole revenge system uh you know and um, all we have there's no there's no equivalent uh to external blocking for for external UBs, as it were, you know, I have to I have to parry them, which is you I mean, have fine. to parry. Or yeah, you it's have not to like dash attack. yeah, it's not yeah, like we want those. Don't have that. Yeah, it's not like we necessarily want. It's not like we necessarily want there to be, you know, them to have no pressure outside of externally at all. But um, it, it does not having that option sucks because yeah. now you're forced to. It's a it's a fifty fifty at that point if you can't yeah. react. And only two players, I'd say, can only do it on flash. So literally everybody else is going to suffer from it. And if you're, it, it yeah. just takes the whole star, the stalling, you know, portion of 4v4, the whole stalling, you just take it out and throw it out of the window. That doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. You, you want to make guys really can... good reads to stall or yeah. use your feats very well to stall. You know, yeah. Use good. your feats or if you have a dash attack, okay, you kind of have an option there to. Yeah. So I can know, just endlessly GB. dash attack. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is. This is fairly but safe. if you're playing a character like Warlord who's been in the meta for so long, you only have Jug and that's it. Yeah. Now you have to make the read, oh, is he going to let it go or is he going to faint? If I make the wrong read, I'm basically dead. Even if the guy's 1 HP, like let's say Kyle's 1 HP here, Spaniard comes to contest uh, his heal, we can still indicator gank him. It won't matter because he's in an unfavored 1v2 just because of unblockables in a no OS world. Yeah. I mean, and I had to make very good reads to be safe here. Yeah, it's just like Glad Gank when that was busted. Glad Gank, you could perform seven or eight times before the guy got avenged. You make one wrong read, you're dead. It doesn't matter. It's going to be like that now whenever the office selects are gone. Oh, I tried to pay that and just missed. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Like, it's, it's, you're just going to get indicated. Skill ceiling is going to just drop massively. That's how I, I see yeah. it. I mean, I think the at least for me personally, I think it the it exposes an issue like it, it's kind of bullshit that you can indicate a gank and not feed any revenge, and yeah, it, and it's also bullshit that that I, like you know we talked about what I can do to try and to try and pull pull a tag off Rohit, you know, if 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 Kyle is pressuring me here and Rohit's next to me throwing indicators as well, or it's the other way around, I can try and get a tag. You know, if it's yeah, if it's if it's Kyle the one who's indicating and oh, God, doing this oh, right now. sorry, I did the other way. Around. No, no, yeah. it's fine, it's fine. Like, and I can still try and, and it, I can still try. Yeah, and you can do still attack to... me, but if you're attacking me, Kyle can still go into his UB for free. Now you're the one in pressure. Yeah, yeah. and I'm and not. Kyle was the only like, one that added the tag. I'm doing a damage, but it, if I if this damage, you know, if I don't kill them both before I get revenge, 
which I'm unlikely to. Oh, you died on my screen and came back to life? Oh, nice. Uh, I mean, that's it, man. You're not going to be able to parry on Flash. You're going to get it wrong eventually, and you kind of have to parry to stay alive. And all Robert has to do is just keep health somewhere on his health bar. stand there and look pretty. That's it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can body block as well. We haven't talked about body block games. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah exactly. If you want to talk about that, so well, let's let's do that in the corner. Let's say you've managed to get me in the corner here, um, and you're going to try and hug me, and I'm going to try and dodge oh, your okay. hug. I can do that too. Well, I got stuck in a wall, or I bounced off row hit. And there's mm-hmm. literally in that situation. I think the only thing I could do is probably light attack like, your reaction. But, oh, if I'm Spaniard is like 99 venge, but we manage to force him into a corner, me or Kyle would just spam like our yeah. bash. And he's what can he do? Him. He's just. Yeah, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even hug him to throw him out. If he was over yeah. in this corner, like come to this corner and lock on. Kyle would if, just if, if he's trapped in this corner and he can't go anywhere, I'm just doing this until he dies. Yeah, there's, there's just nothing you literally can do. nothing I can do about it because of the walls are moving iframes and yeah. characters are moving iframes. So that's another way you can gank without adding extra tags. Is if you just position yourself because they can't they can't walk through you. So you know, yeah, get get big, get push them around. <laughs> um. Goki's good for that because he's chunky and he has direct damage bash. So, like, you, th- th- these are, I think, uh, personally, I think these are issues with, uh, like, we've 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 talked for like almost two hours now about ways you can essentially exploit this system, the way the range system works. But yeah. uh, a lot of these are very kind of finger quotes gamey. You know, they don't they don't make much sense in the context of a of a fight. Like, you know, <laughs> what? Why is it that? him being out of my screen spamming indicators i can't even see rohit on my screen then and i'm still getting red flashes and this is doing nothing like you know it's gonna make it a way harder to block single yeah, I, I, hope you, I hope you can block <laughs> yeah, yeah you can I'm... block because this guy's just going nuts with indicators so you have no idea which one's mine and which one's his yeah and it, like the the fact that this doesn't get revenge is kind of bullshit already and like you know i can't i can go over to can rohit and throw attacks at him but it's not going to give me tags so yeah, yeah. won't be able to get revenge so the revenge is entirely in control of the gankers so when you're in a scenario where like yeah your teammate runs in and matchmaking and feeds revenge you like it's understandable and you're right to be mad with this guy because you, it's fully within your control as the gankers it's almost a throw to give venge most of the time yeah. if we give venge it's usually because we're memeing yeah. and we're going just give this guy revenge that's usually the term you hear right before somebody gets venge in a real game because other than that, like, it's way too easy not to get... Like, if we mess up a gank ten times, and, like, he's trying to ring the bell, and I'm trying to hug or heavy, and we mess it up, and finally you just get 90 revenge, all right, somebody just goes, all right, well, somebody's got onesie, that guy, I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah. They just that's won't even the, give it. That's the whole yeah. point of practicing ganks. You want to perfect that craft just so you don't feed venge, because the moment you feed venge or you fuck up a gank... Now this guy's teammate can come rotate, or you're not going to be able to heal anymore. There's so many different things that can happen, or there will be situations like uh, Kyle said we'd be memeing. But the, you know, in some situations we'd be like, "Fuck it, he's a bar and he's super high venge. Let's just give him venge anyway. What is he yeah, going to do? We'll go full HP. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if they and if they can't come and if you can't like like when you're in revenge, it's quite easy for most car- most people can back away. I mean, like, the worst thing that kind of is like can focus one of you guys. Um, yeah, I can't focus both but if we're you. both full HP, you're not going to kill one of us, yeah, depending well, I... on your what character you're playing. Yeah, yeah. You're lose, lose a bunch of health. Let's we'll get you down to a bar. Lose a bunch of health, my speciality. Yeah, hold on, let's see. One, and one more. All right, just give right, us yeah. All right, yeah, so we get, we're just the idiots, we get bench. You can pop whatever you want. Now you have to deal with Kyle, the OS and God, or he eats, you know, a heavier two. But now his venge is out. I come back in, and then we kill him because. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, his plan is a god. Oh, his plan is dead. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. That... it just doesn't matter. Like we most of the time, it's like just a quick said, reset. Like, yeah, you're yeah. just like okay, whoever he attacks, just get your OSs ready, and uh, other yeah, than yeah. that, just chill. Exactly. If my, um, of course, remember your options select, you only have the ones that can actually work against revenge. So, you know, I can grab you out of a zone OS if I'm in revenge, because I think yeah. we, we talk about that. Um, we can demonstrate it if you want to, but. Um, oh, it's a zone? Sure. We I'll, can, yeah. yeah. I'll zone you. So you I mean, even, actually... with, even with GB OS, you can get a, like, retarded punch All right, off. So I'm going to I'm gonna throw a, um, yeah, it's an unblockable for you. Oh. Uh, grab me. Anyway, you still so get to punish him. 
Even if Kyle wanted the GBOS or UB, you just have you think GB. Yeah, so we can show And GBOS, now you're in chain GB. pressure. Yeah. Here, let's give him um, a GM. Throw a, throw a fully charged so I know when the GBOS. This guy's snare gets inch. All right, go ahead. Oh, okay. oh you're fainting to a heavy. Yeah, yeah, he tried to go for the GBOS, and, you know, because Revenge gives super armor property, Kyle can't grab that heavy faint. Yeah, normally if we do it, we do a, that on my regular one here. Oh, either that's going to happen, or... You, you can only go, like, like go into a... Yeah, if you try to heavy... Oh, you did it on the really... earliest possibly timing. Uh, I always no. have my shit, so... Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's buffering that as hard as you can. But yeah. yeah, I mean, most a lot of characters won't have to deal with that. Plus, too, uh, if you do hug now, um, I can I'll grab you out of the startup of the hug. Yes. Like if you yeah. hard faint and then go into hug, GBOS will grab you as you move forward. So yeah, yeah. I didn't know hug had GB form now. Yeah, That's it's pretty... um, this is a long longer than seven hundred S move, so it does how it. Yeah. How it works. Kind of... Free res on yeah. me. Got to order. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, I unlocked. I didn't. I hit the wrong button. My GBOS. Anyway, so I'll talk about it. Okay. No. Uh, they I, you know what I do? I'm just. I'm just like. I'm hard buffering. I will. Well. Yeah, you're making the read that go. he's going to GBOS. Like you. Well, I mean, I. I like for me. I pretty much buffer anything. Everything I do after a faint. So just yeah. slamming that's them buttons. Yeah. yeah, that's just me. I'm a mashing button like a seal. Um, <laughs> clip handed a freak child. That's me. Um, that's yeah. So I think we've. I I'm not I sure about anything. Else. Most that's I mean, all the binge. We that's haven't talked about two v two tags, but uh, you're yeah. gonna need a wizard to explain that. I mean, I can't. I don't even know how that. I mean, true. I can explain it, but essentially, like your ta the oh yeah, well, 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 so it's not just if we're in a you know I get tags a if I'm outnumbered, fight. but if it's a team fight, one of those guys has a tag. Everyone and has else. to have the equal amount of tags for it yeah. to apply, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it okay, could be so. it could be the um like. We have a my ally is attacking just one of them, and they're just attacking me and not my ally. And so my ally, or, or it's it's weird. It's, it's you can get some scenarios in team fights where you're building revenge, but the the key is essentially it's really complicated. Just look at the flashing thing. Like yeah, just, that's like, the that's the that's best the main part. Yeah. yeah, when it, when they didn't used to have the flashy thing, we used to call oh it the surprise God. mechanic. Yeah. yeah. Surprise, he got revenge. Like, you don't know. Maybe he's going to get it. Maybe he's not. I don't know. We just. Yeah. All... That was I, it. Uh, playing this game with no vent, like visible venge bar, we were just guesstimating. Oh, this guy, you know, I think he has about 80% venge or don't touch him. He has a tag. Oh, guy saw the tag. Surprise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think his tags now, are off now. Yeah, yeah now so. and and that does weaken revenge for the the defender because you don't have that element of surprise anymore. You can always you yeah. can always see in this scenario, Rohit can see that. Well, I've got nothing. I'm half health. I've no revenge tag. Yeah, so he, and he, if he, he had 99 venge and Kyle was healthy, I would just go fuck off and go help somewhere else on the map, basically. Yeah, because there's yeah. that that's that that scenario. If I'm a full health yeah, and no time for revenge, and then yeah. Kyle's at one health, there's I mean, well. Give him, give Carl the chance to want to do his amazing comeback because you know there's because you're not gonna be able to help really without putting Kyle in a very unfavorable situation. But and just being like, close by puts me in an even more favorable situation because you have to be worried about him. Yeah, yeah. Like you immediately have to start worrying about him just in case because you also can't get an XE right. Say we're both low HP, we're having the epic one v one of the century. And he's close by, like, now you can't get an X here. You're going to get an out of lock punish, depending on the execution yeah. you use for yeah. 900 million damage. So, in that scenario, like, you're going to have, you're still going to be 1 HP, and then he's going to be able to see when the tag's over because you're going to stop flashing, and then he's just going to finish off what I couldn't. Yeah. That's the one thing I do miss about. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, that's, we can talk about that, how the, um, you know, revenge. Uh, oh, let me, let me execute. Oh, give me, give me revenge, both of you, and then I'll, and I'll execute, um, okay. Kyle. But yeah, the whole just, element of surprise. You can hit me with I, a heavy as well, so I'm on low health. Go on, just smack me around a bit. All right. All right, you can kill Kyle. Yeah, now I'm going to get Kyle low enough to, meet, to actually kill him when I want revenge. Uh, and I'm going to delete you. One more should do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I did a really long ass execution then, and yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Aramusha is one of the few characters where you safely can can safely attack the guy who's <laughs> yeah. in revenge execution. Even even but, if I had a teammate with me, Spaniard would have been dead there. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, I guess we didn't cover the like the most important thing about revenge because we only had two people here. Uh, mm. Sorry, I guess I've mentioned this because it is uh, obvious, but we talked about revenge multipliers. You know that if you've got, and you, you'll have experiences in your matchmaking games, if you've got two people, they re feed revenge slower than if you've got three people. And if you've got four people throwing attacks at you, they're going to get revenge basically clever. I mean, like Super, it doesn't help much. You're still on 4v1, but. Yeah, certainly, but yeah. yeah. Don't add the third tag. Sorry, we definitely should have led the session with this because this is the like the most important thing for your matchmaking games. Do not add the third tag. If you're in a two, if you're in a three v one, like there's almost no time that it's a good idea to contribute to that in any way other than just fucking throwing indicators. Adding like, in on demon ball is the only time. Or adding demon, adding in on demon ball. Like if that's, they put yeah, themselves in the a only drama. Time situation where you can fucking throw attacks and don't worry about it but like otherwise you're just going to give them revenge the multiplier for 1v4 is 0.9 so we talked a bit about before about how like you can i can you can in a 2v2 they can do in a 1v2 they can kill me and i won't get full revenge if in a 1v4 like if i block one attack and I eat the rest of everything else i'm still going to have revenge before i die because the yeah. multiplier is 0.9 it's basically the uh, equivalent to just Full, you know, guaranteed revenge, and yeah. and it used to be one, and there was the you know you know one before you know one before you would you'd be you'd get revenge like just full stop you would get revenge because there was no way to kill them without giving them revenge, um, yeah. even if you landed everything perfectly. So yeah, do not add the third tag. Go and do something else that's useful. Um, if you do have to be on that point to gank this guy, help by indicator ganking. Um. I mean, as that's another thing as this help, helpful is if 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 I see like a guy who is, if I'm being ganked and I see there's a guy who's just indicated ganking out, I know okay, well he's not going to add a tag to me, so I'm going to focus on the guys who are ganking me. Well, eventually when I'm low enough health, <laughs> when you and you've decided that I'm going to ignore you, you can let let your unblockable go, and then I'll be like, oh crap, this time he's the, the final time he lent, and that's when it'll kill me. Um, but don't add a tag unless that's what it's going to do. It's unless it's going to kill me. Um, Yep, and it, I mean, it yeah, the same, the same thing in two v ones. Yeah, yeah, the like, same thing applies in a one v two. Like, let's say you're ninety nine Venge, and I'm still indicating you. Can use. Uh, I would only add in damage that I know will be confirmed. Like uh, when Kyle was doing a dash forward heavy in the headbutt, for example, earlier. Yeah, when I see Kyle land that headbutt and my heavy, I know my heavy will kill Spaniard. Then I will attack and add my tag, second, third, or fourth tag. Doesn't really matter because yeah. I know my heavy is going to kill. So the same thing applies there, but. If the guy's full HP, you don't even you just let the two ganker or the two people ganking do their thing, and then you yeah. either go like, you know, keep the other dude's teammate off, or you just go somewhere else on the map that needs you know yeah. attention. I uh, agree. I agree. I have my fiance has just made a lasagna and it smells amazing, and I want to <laughs> go and eat that. Lasagna. lasagna? Yeah, that yeah. Sounds yeah. like a so plan. I'm gonna channel my inner Garfield and go nuts. Um, oh. all right. Uh, anything else we want to cover before? Uh, anything else? That's all the binge it? things I, think, I know. That's I think it. We, yeah. I mean, we've talked for a long ass time, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for coming. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I actually managed to talk. I was a little worried I wouldn't have. <laughs> no, thanks. Thanks, uh, Rohit and Kyle, for, for joining in today. Um, I, was, mm -hmm. I was surprised I wouldn't have uh, be me on my own. Um, and I wouldn't. No have. worry. We're here for you, buddy. We'll be here for the next ones, too. Don't worry. Big yeah. All right. Uh, take care. Uh, I think next week is going to be the um, Dominion Series qualifiers will be out on. So we might be oh, able this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, actually. Yeah, this Saturday. Yeah. This one. Saturday. So we might Are be able excited? to see some watch party type stuff. I'm pretty excited. I, I like. Yeah. I'm a little bit. I'm excited. I'm have few teams are. Um, but yeah, get your friends. Join the join the the fun. Um, win big. There's there's not a many teams lined up at the moment, so you can have got, got a better chance of winning. Um, all right, yeah, I got to get going because I've um, got lasagna. But thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you all soon.